It's your favorite YouTube dealer. I appreciate you guys for stopping in. I assume by now every single person in this country is aware of the fact there was an assassination attempt on Trump. Social media has been on fire ever since. And I talked about it with a couple of different people. I also made a video about it. For those that don't know, Dwayne TV, I do commentary style content. I don't usually talk about political stuff, but I feel like this is a big moment in history. This is worth talking about. So I did make a video. I will link it down below if you guys are interested. But aside from that, I had a conversation offline with some friends and I was saying how it seems so crazy to me that when I go on social media, it doesn't seem as if there's all of this shock factor around the fact that this even happened. Like, no one's like, oh, my God, there was an attempt on a president. Like, this is crazy. It's more so people utilizing it to fuel their arguments because it's always about getting one up on the other side, whether it's the right going against the left, the left trying to go back against the right, wishing someone died or them saying, you know, look at what you guys did. Like, it's nonstop fighting and it's nonstop just just finding something that you can use against the other side i'm seeing people say hey if someone says january 6th you guys say july 13th like it's just non-stop yo we got one on them now and i just i don't understand that approach and that's probably because i don't really like to identify as left or as right i know some people are going to be like well you must be a centrist then no i'm a don't give a fuckist i'm a person that tries to look at life as logically as i can and there's times where each side makes a good point now the extreme parts of each side are where the problem lies if you ask me that is where all of the problem lies. That's where the crazy shit that the left pushes comes from, the extreme side. That's where the crazy shit that the right pushes comes from, the extreme side. So I don't know what Tom's going to say in this. I usually do agree with Tom on quite a lot, but we'll discuss it as we go because I do have some other thoughts on this and the way that people have been discussing it online that I personally think are crazy. And as much as people might hate me for it and the comments might get a little toxic, I'm going to be honest with you guys. So if anything, at least respect me for being honest instead of just pandering and trying to play to a side so I can get a bunch of views and clicks and all that stuff and people like me. And I'm going to tell you what I think. And in truth, I think it's probably going to make both sides mad at me, which is kind of just the way that my life goes. But let's get into this. Shout out to Tom. No disrespect to him at all. I don't even know what he says in this. I love Tom. Love checking out his music. But I am going to give my opinion on everything that he says. They burning the country down with their progressiveness. It started with changing what gender is. Then graduated to your racist if you think that your life matters and your skin don't have melanin. They don't want peace, they want skeletons. Ooh. They want men to pretend that they're feminine. They don't want an election. <laughs> they got so offended by freedom that they just try killing the president. I used to think that the See, now that last bar is where I'm going to draw the line a little bit. I actually agree with everything he said prior. I do feel like, again, more so the extreme sides, they're pushing this weird agenda that i just don't think is good for the country and i know that some people are disagreeing with that and i it is what it is but i don't agree with a lot of the shit that's going on this whole like if you're white you're automatically racist you know the feminine thing like all this stuff that's happening i don't really agree with it so i'm on board with everything he said up until that last part and the reason why i say up until that last part is because i feel like this is what i'm seeing online and this is what i can't necessarily agree with is that it's being turned into Look at the left is doing all of this to the point where now they're trying to kill the president and it's just fueling more right versus left bullshit when in reality, it's a crazy person. Now, all of the people you see online that are saying, oh, I wish that it hit him. It was this close. Oh, man, why couldn't he have better aim? They're crazy people, too. Don't get me wrong. I'm not giving them a pass. They're crazy people, too. But I can't sit here and just blanket statement the entire left and say that it's all of them when I know that there's some of them that don't think that this is cool, that think that this is not the answer and this is not what we should be able to resort to. And so for me, I feel like it's not fair to label them all of that. And this is the same thing that I say in so many different situations, right? Like say you come across a white person that's racist as a black person, whether that happens one time or five times, you don't label all white people as racist. That's not fair. You don't label all cops as bad. That's not fair. Like there, it's just, to me, it's not fair. So I am not going to back that statement, but I do agree with other stuff that he's saying. It's just, I just, I just can't. I, I, I hope you guys see where I'm coming from, and I'm not taking a shot at Tom, or I'm not taking a shot at anybody that might have felt that way initially. It's just, this is my opinion on it, and I feel like yours is valid, and mine is valid, and I'm just giving you mine, because I personally don't agree with that. I've never agreed with blanket statements. I don't think all black people are a certain way. All white people are a certain way. I don't think all cops are a certain way. No different than I don't think all of the left side or all of the right side is what people say that they are. I just don't. I think that there are extreme people. There are crazy people. 
and those people are showing their colors, but that does not mean that it is everybody. And this is not coming from someone who identifies as left, who's trying to defend the left at all, because I think there's a lot of goofy shit that they're doing, and we've talked about it in videos, but I just, I'm not going to get on board with that statement regardless. I think that this is probably going to be dope, and I think he's going to make a lot of good points in this. Matters in your skin don't have melanin. They don't want peace, they want skeletons. They want men to pretend that they're feminine. They don't want an election. They got so offended by freedom that they just try killing the president. I used to think that the woke were misguided, but now I can see that they're evil. Twitter is angry that Trump isn't dead. You know who got shot? Innocent people. Thought y'all were tolerant. Thought we were equals. I thought you valued how everyone feels. Then why are y'all celebrating an attempted assassination like you're part of Antifa? Now that he's right about, that does just seem to be like what you're seeing on Twitter quite a bit. Now, Twitter is not everybody, though. That's something that I think a lot of us get caught up in. And I'm not saying he is because he's speaking about that very specifically. But a lot of people get caught up in seeing it on Twitter and they immediately assume, well, this is everybody. Twitter is like eight or nine percent of the entire world. Not even just eight or nine percent of the entire world. It is a very, very small niche percentage of people that are on Twitter, and not everybody on there is pushing this agenda. It's even smaller than the full percentage of people that are there, right? So you say 8% of people in the world are on Twitter. It's probably less than 1% of them that are talking all of this shit and saying stuff that is crazy and makes no sense and wishing that there should be death on a president. So in all reality, it's, it's, a, it's a minute amount. It's a very, very small amount of people. And that's just something that I feel like we need to keep in mind. Thank God the left can't aim. Thank God the right don't write. Welcome to the home of the brave. Freedom ain't afraid of violence. You wish you was dying? Bitch, you missed. Thank God the left can't aim. Why can't we just shoot straight? Y'all are going insane. Bitch, you missed. There's no one else you can blame. Try to lock them up in a cage. Now you trying to kill what you hate. Bitch, you missed. Told us trust the science, but it never made sense to me. Why would we put all our trust in the enemy? Millions of people are hooked on amphetamines. They're making billions on untested remedies. Borders are open to people with felonies. Biden can't stop them. He don't have the energy. Y'all want to kill the man trying to fight for a better tomorrow by making them Kennedy? I tried to give y'all a chance. Like, maybe the left isn't nuts. I was wrong. Because y'all are exactly as crazy as every conservative person I know said you were all along. Want to protest? Go hard. Want to burn flags? Go off. But See, I just feel like that's such a crazy statement to make. Listen, he He's free to feel how he wants to feel as well as everybody else is. And I'm sure my comment section is going to be on fire because he knows his audience. So he knows that he's I personally just feel like he's leaning into what he knows everybody feels. And I'm not saying he doesn't feel this way as well, but it's a genius move because right now everybody's like anger is up at the highest. The tension is up. All of the shit is, is up. Everything is up right now. So to sit here and go and dive into it and be like, yo, the left can't aim. Da, 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 da. Like you, you got everybody that is against that on your side. And it's just, I get it. I get it. But I just feel like it's, it's not the way that it, it, it's, it's just not the way to go. That's just my opinion. Personally. Again, I think that the person is crazy and I think everybody backing it is crazy. So this is where I feel like I end up with everybody mad at me. Right? Because I don't wish death on Trump. I think that it's crazy that somebody tried to kill him. Don't think that it should have happened. I feel like it, it just just it, it should be a big shock factor moment that like someone tried to take a president's life. Like this isn't a normal thing. This is this is a big deal. But instead, it's just turned into yo the left. And I, I I'm just it just is weird to me. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I'm just I, I'm just in the wrong place in the world. I'm in the wrong dimension. Like I should be in another dimension. It's just I don't know. It's crazy. Like I said in another video, if I have to vote and I'm not even that I don't like Trump, I don't agree with everything he says, but I do agree with some of the changes that he wants to make. I, I, I look at things for that. That's what I look at, because I think that that's what makes sense. So if it's between him and Sleepy Joe, I, I, I'd go for him and I don't even really vote. But if I was, I would go for him. So I, I definitely don't feel like killing him is the right answer. I definitely don't want sleepy joe to win like i don't you know i think that this just solidified him winning if i'm being honest with you i think that it just pushed even more people to potentially vote for him i think the election is pretty much said and done at this point but i'm not gonna sit here and say that it's the other side it's the left they're the ones that did it i just i don't want to say that because i don't think that that makes sense Y'all are so triggered that you're pulling triggers at presidents. Y'all the terrorists when you're armed. Thank God the left can't aim. Thank God the right don't riot. Welcome to the home of the brave. Freedom ain't afraid of violence. You wish you was dying? Bitch, you missed. Thank God the left can't aim. Why can't we just shoot straight? Y'all are going insane. Bitch, you missed. There's no one else you can blame. Try to lock them up in a cage. Now you trying to kill what you hate. Bitch, you missed.
This is a dope track, though. He makes good points about certain shit that's going on, the progressiveness that's killing the country, things like that. I don't disagree with any of that. I'm sure I'm still going to get hate, though, from everybody that feels like, yo, it's the left. I promise you it's the left. I see it everywhere. They're all saying it. Trust me. I know. I know. I already know that that's going to be the comment section on top of just calling me names, without a doubt, which is crazy because a lot of the people that are going to feel that way, I probably agree with on a lot of topics, and I'm probably more on your side than anything, but the fact that I'm unwilling to just dive into the pool and say, yeah, that's it. I agree. It's them is why people are going to hate me. And this is what I think is wrong with the world, to be honest with you. Because I just, I don't know. It's just all of it is kind of just crazy. It's all just crazy to me. The fact that all this is happening and that I even have to have this discussion is absolutely wild to me. So I don't know. This is going to be a fun video. I'm sure I'll, I'll tune into the comments here and there and see all the shit that you guys want to talk to me. But yeah, like I said, shout out to Tom. I think he's a dope artist. I have no, and see, this is where I feel like people get really confused, right? Because I don't have anything against Tom feeling that way. I still like Tom as an artist. I still want to check out his music. I still agree with a lot of his points. He still seems like a really good dude. I just agree with this one piece of it, right? And 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 in a lot of times in life nowadays, in 2024, it's like if you would disagree with something, people expect that you hate that person or that you don't like them or that you want to take shots at them. So me saying all this is probably mind-blowing for a lot of people. Like, wait a minute, you, you disagree that it's the left completely, that it's all of them. And Tom said it wasn't, you don't agree with it, but you still like him. I feel like that's blowing people's minds probably because they assume that I, I have to be picking the other side, right? Which is not true, not at all. So it's just one of those things where I, I, I don't know. Like, I feel like the assassination is wrong. It's, it's a crazy thing that should not happen. And my biggest worry is more so that it's going to cause violence between the right and the left now because there are good people on both sides. There are people on both sides that are good people. As much as people on each side doesn't want to think that about the other side, that is a fact of life. There are also a big amount of extreme people on each side that fuels this hate for the other side. And, and it's causing this, this crazy, crazy back and forth. And I just wish that it wouldn't happen that way. I wish that somehow we can get through this, but it doesn't seem like it's going to happen anytime soon. It seems like it's going to happen. It's going to get worse. I can't even get my words out. I, I'm just... Uh, I'm just defeated, to be honest with you. Because it's like, I can't fix shit. I'm just kind of here for the ride, unfortunately, but I can only hope that some of you guys have logical sense inside of you and realize that, you know, labeling a whole bunch of people and pushing this narrative, which is only going to lead to more violence between these people is not the answer. Again, the people that are saying that they wish he got hit, they wish he got killed, so on and so forth. They're crazy. They are just as crazy as the person that pulled the trigger. I don't disagree with you on that. And if you want to bring it to those people, hey, you have at it because it, it's weird. It just makes absolutely no sense. But I do not believe and I know for a fact that every single person on that side does not feel that way because I know some people that would identify as the left that don't agree with what happened at all. So I, to me, it's like to think that I'm going to label them with everyone else when that's just not true. Just it's just it doesn't sit right with me. And so that's where I'm coming from. So. You guys are free to feel how you want to feel. I'm not here to say that you're wrong for feeling your way, but this is a reaction video, right? So the only thing I can do is give my opinion, and that's exactly what I'm doing. So I don't like getting very political because being political sucks. Politics suck. The party system sucks. In my opinion, all the presidential options suck. Are there some that are better than others? Yeah, Trump is better than Sleepy Joe, by far, by far. But I'm not going to sit here and say that I love any of it. I, I feel like we need more options. I feel like we need a better system. I feel like we need a different system. Do I have the answer? Hell no. I'm not smart enough for that shit. So who am I to even say any of that, right? I, I Listen, at least I know my place. I know my place. Anyways, this has been a long video. I've stumbled over my words. I've probably said a bunch of shit in ways where I didn't even give my point the right surrounding argument so i'm probably going to come across as extremely ignorant and that's okay i'm all right with that it is what it is i make other content that i enjoy better than political shit but every once in a while you got to have these discussions and have these conversations so this is mine appreciate you take it easy stay safe <laughs> i'll catch you in the next one